caution is out at Michigan. We have a new track mascot. I'm not I'm not sure it's not a beaver. We've ruled out beaver. Yeah. I'm not sure a giant squirrel maybe, huh? It does look like a really big squirrel. <laughs> They've got a scoop shovel out. Now I'm gonna tell you the last time we went through this, Michael, you and I were at Bristol for the trucks. There was a squirrel. Now we've got confirmation it's a groundhog. This weekend. Great bands, great look at, this, look at this. This is gonna get good. This is really gonna get good. <laughs> He's got <laughs> oh. All right, we're going to go to break. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the groundhog. Still putting he's my money on the groundhog. He's still on the loose. Why does this always happen? Oh, they got him. Look at there. Thumbs up. <laughs> How many safety workers at a racetrack does it take to catch a groundhog that's on the loose? And we don't have an official. Oh, oh. he's gotten away again. I didn't have a good feeling about it. I tell you, I'm still putting my money on the. Because here, as we finish up, and the groundhog continues to win this race in practice. Oh, this is oh, a trash a can. <laughs> trash we got the can. Look at this. a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't hit it. Uh oh. I feel good about it. I feel good about. Oh, he went and got him. He went down and got him, that fella there in the vest. Hey, celebrate good times. That's all he needed was a bigger bucket. <laughs> and the celebration in the garage right of your screen. Heck yeah. What is it exactly that you look for in a car when you come to this road course? Man, I don't know. Perfect timing, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you guys want to know who the character is in the garage area, there he is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Girl sitting over in turn three and four. I would not doubt if they threw a caution. If it, 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 it's kind of running around out there. They tried to catch it before the race. Just to, just keep that in mind. What is it? It's a squirrel. It's not wearing a helmet. Not one of them squirrels. A real squirrel. <laughs> John West Townley and Spencer Gallagher exchanging words. And oh, they're going at it. This is going to be good here. Hope the trucks aren't coming. John West Townley and Spencer Gallagher down there in turn one. <laughs> and there's points for a takedown. And the fans are loving it. Townley and Gallagher. John West Townley landed a couple of good blows there. I guess that's all that counts, and I hope this weather holds out because I think we got a good shot to start either first or second, which we would anyway. So, I got ran over. Framey just about ran over all of us. But, uh, no, like I was saying, we can start in the top three. That'd be fine. Look at turn. The word dramatic comes from uh, his car owner, Ricky Hendrick, who said it's going to be a dramatic change in the weather. I think he's right. <laughs> Look yeah, what's chasing. Right. Just when you think you've seen it all. Let's cover up. <laughs> Look what's chasing Todd Zegedy around the racetrack. I wonder what was going through Todd's mind when he looked up and saw that big orange thing coming at him. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this happen before. Well, now I know what Joliet Jake and L would have been up to. Now, Todd did get his first lap in at a 30-68, which puts him 15th quickest. If I were him, I'd ask for a do-over. <laughs> I believe I would, too. Well, I, but hey, he guys, kind of almost in front of him. This looks like it's going to complete a lap, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it looks like the oh. geniuses in the PR department have thought of a new way to get their, their uh, product on camera. Is it going to miss the timing lights? Yes. yes. We didn't get a time on it, though. We lost two pits trying to sink down the front stretch, so let's not do that the rest of the day. All right, I'll just be an ass then. Whatever, I'm trying to keep it lighthearted in here. Just keep moving forward, you can act any way you want. And simple. I mean, did I at least get like a foot tap or a head nod from any of y'all? Dale liked it. Dale enjoyed it. That's right. We're racing at Richmond, and he's got the car is totally covered in mud. And he hollers on the radio, Richard, I need to pit. And Richard says, Dale, I hate to come in and pit and lose all that track position. And Dale comes on the radio and says, I'm going to be off the radio for a few minutes. And then you see Dale driving with his knee and got one head and he's cleaning the windshield off. His impersonation of uh, the window cleaner at your service station. It's like a floor mop, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you can't get it turned on, over. Carl, turn it over, get it down there. He's trying to get a different grip. Vince, Vince, what's he got to say about that? 
You know, actually, that was made for him in case the windows started fogging up on the inside. He could actually use it to clear off the windows on the inside should they be fogging, and I think he's just getting a little creative. You know what? I think Carl Edwards just has too much fun when he's out there on the racetrack. I'd give anything for a pair. Oh, it's over? They just said it's over. All right, so it was a great race, a lot of fun, and uh, see you all next week. <laughs> and just a moment ago, here's what's happened. A fan somehow gets out of the uh, infield area, comes out on the track, and is trying to get Matt Kenseth's <laughs> autograph. Oh, do you think alcohol and he had anything at all to do with that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Kenseth is going, you're not going to believe what just happened here, guys. He gets, jumps over to guardrail, runs back up, and then gets apprehended. That ever happened to you, Rusty? Oh, Anybody ever no, come to you? No, that's never happened to me. That's just amazing. And don't think about that. Laugh about that for a long time. Monday morning when he said Monday afternoon, these guys all go to lunch. That'll be the story at lunch. That's for sure. Hey, Denny Hamlin, Michael Waltrip, Fox Sports on TV. Um, do you want what a you? taco? He spilled it on the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, it's all over the car. They work on now what are you going to do? On a paint job all <laughs> That's week. Real. Can I still get a ride home? <laughs> Everything's great. Looking forward to getting back to the racetrack and getting into my race car. Are you okay with Joey moving forward? Everything's great. Really looking forward to getting into my race car and getting back here at Phoenix. Speaking of that, are you glad that this is over and you can get in the car where you're comfortable to get back to racing? Everything's great. Really looking forward to getting back into my car and uh, being here in Phoenix. Right, Joey called you this week. Is that a positive? Everything's great. Looking forward to getting back into my car. Thank you a lot. Thank you. I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up. He goes to the other side. Is Edwards going to oh, no. He turns him. No, no. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad no. Keselowski won this race. Carl did uh, what he wanted to do. He stayed at the back all day long. He played it smart. Had this race possibly won. Not now. Not sure where Carl's going. Maybe he thinks if he runs across the start finish line, it'll count. That's what he's got. That's what he's doing. Gonna, that's what he's doing. He's like a mar You know how he is. He's an athlete, a marathon runner. I want to finish the race. And he did yes, to he a did. standing ovation from the crowd. Shades of Ricky Bobby. Everybody is driving crazy today. Look how he's trying to get her back. Boys, I'm on fire. Driving the wheels off that thing. <laughs> Help me up Winfrey. I'm on fire. But look at the fire. Then it's like, hey, enough of this. We got to get out of here. I mean, we're putting on a show is one thing, but let's leave the driving to the professionals. Hey, we're down here on the grid. I'm with Migos. Hey, how'd you, how'd you like it? Did you see it? Is that it? What's that? That's my dad. Oh, man, it's this way. Uh, uh, I like that. We're, I mean, yard three. Where's offset? In the right now. <laughs> Bam, make it happen. You know, for the grid walk this year, I really think I need some music. What do you think? You got anything for me? Hey, man, what we got? Uh, how about the, twist it up like a stir fry? In the kitchen wrist, twisting like a stir fry. Whip it. Whip it. Yes. You should be inspired, Bubba. Go get them today, buddy. Yeah, thanks, you, brother. Appreciate it. I worry about one thing instead of running back and forth like a yo-yo from garage to garage. So it's nice to just, you know, be a little bit more relaxed and focusing on one thing. Yeah, you have a uh, you have a shark behind you. Uh, you might want to be careful. But <laughs> I made a lot of notes for this event. They're closing in on it now. We've got Nothing a bunch of, pe bunch in of my people notes here. About How? tracking down a rabbit. That rabbit gets through this uh, this gate. I guarantee you. <laughs> there he goes. Told you. <laughs> There's no way they're catching that rabbit. <sighs> Maybe he'll run into the bucket. Maybe he'll run into the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Voice just came out of the production truck and said, who is on the track? Not him. He's out of here. He heard it, thought that was a bad joke, and off he goes. 